one time I heard that you have a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I keep on hearing it. Yeah. So I plan to beat her in the morning. How no. do you keep it nice and no, spicy? No, kiss her, hug up and do. And it's time not to want trim it. him. The brush him teeth. Really? The all eight me clean pants. his shoes. I take all my wife foot, but I'm a rope major. Really? <laughs> but I, I would marry her again now for the very last drive. I would. Aww. amazing couple and we are going to hear all about their journey as a married couple i'm louise thomas mm -hmm. i'm eric thomas and how long have you guys been together 48 years so i'm married at about what age i was um i was 32 <coughs> i was 23 mm -hmm. and daddy was about how much what 38 daddy i was 38 yes, so daddy. you guys have nicknames for each other he called me mommy and I call him daddy. Oh, you call him daddy and he calls you mommy. Yeah. So initially, what were some of the challenges that you had as a, as a young couple? A lot of challenge. I did have because my people, um, some love him mm -hmm. and some um, did not. Because um, he was a church boy. Mm -hmm. And they were saying to me that um, if him don't, um, if him don't marry, he might have some fault. Yeah. Um, so I shouldn't um, take him as a friend. So how do you deal with the people who didn't like him? Like you're a family member who didn't like him because obviously you're married to him now. So. Yes. So how did you deal with that? Well, what I did, I moved from the home. Okay. Yes. I that did. was, um, I used to do boxing mm -hmm. for five years and nine months. And then from there I started to dance music. I was just out there. And gradually come back to live with my family, you know. That's where I met her. Right. Mm -hmm. And then after meeting her, we, I find her ready, her, her family, and sit down and reason with them wisely. Yes, yes. And they ask if me want her, tell them yes. Yes. Them say, well, let me come. Not them, them, them don't say that I cannot be in friend with her. Yes. But I cannot get her to live with. Ooh. And I ask them why them so well then the home that they live is a five bedroom. Mm -hmm. And the aunt asks me, she says, Come follow me. And I follow her. And she carry me to the to all the bedroom and ask her if I love it. I say yes. To the dining hall, to the pantry, and to the kitchen. She asked her if I love it, how we dress, I said yes. Bathroom, to take me to the bathroom. She said, if I love how the bathroom them dress, okay. I said yes. Mm -hmm. She said, you love my house then? I said, yes, I love your house. Mm -hmm. She said, then how you going to want, how you going to deck with my niece? You cannot get her, you know. You can be in friend with her, but you cannot get her to live with. Why? Because she's the one who take care of this house. Woo! She's the one that keep this house in this manner. So that's why you couldn't get her because she needs her to upkeep the house. That's right. So I said to myself, so well, then, poor fool. So it's almost want... like she wanted you to be her little helper girl. Yes. We could want a woman to live with her, me come come find one. And you go and tell me, so I can't get her. So while I live at my family home, mm -hmm. it takes me six months to get a room to rent. Mm -hmm. And I walk about until I get a room to rent and then I come back to her and ask her if she would live with me. She said yes. Mm -hmm. So I... So why weren't you, why were, you weren't hesitant? You just went straight ahead with him? Yes, because I did love him. You loved him? Yes. Mm -hmm. And how do you know that you loved him? Like, Well, I don't know, but I was ruling by my heart and not my head. Well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, because... Um, he didn't have it, but I did love him. So how did you deal with that, like the financial um, struggles that came? Because you lived in a nice big house, yes. and then he only could afford to rent a one room. Yes. How did you deal with that? How did you adjust? 
Well, after I leave and his salary were very small, mm -hmm. I went to do a domestic work. Okay, to help? Yes. Because obviously that's what you were good at. That's right. Yeah. Yes, and I, I do it for quite a while. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's it. until um, we leave from town, mm -hmm. I'm done by the heart of town and go up by August town. So besides the financial struggles, what were some other issues that you had in the early part of your relationship? The early part of the, of the uh, relationship, it was okay. Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, I don't put my basket where my and cannot reach it. Mm -hmm. You know, I learned to satisfy. Were there any serious issues where you had to learn to forgive him because you love him? It was one time I heard that he had a girlfriend mm -hmm. and I asked him about it and he said that it wasn't true and then I keep on hearing it Yeah. so I plan to beat her the morning, I plan to beat her the morning. So I plan to beat her the morning. Ooh! Yes. So I cut a piece of stick and from the evening shave it down and put the breakfast on the table and just walk around the back and take up the stick and go out by the way but I didn't say her at all. So you were really going to beat her? I was going to beat her. So you were really going to beat her? I was going to beat her. So you were really going to beat her? I was going to beat her. <clears throat> Any disagreement that me and my husband have is true in spend too much money. Mm -hmm. Like me selling to the supermarket and stuff mm -hmm. and in buy everything. Uh, we never want to stay back. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. But for me you now to quarrel, say the money is enough and we want some more money and this and the one, mm -hmm. this yes. and that and dress and shoes and so. No. You weren't that time? No, 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 no. So is it a case where you just know that you had little and you just worked with it? Exactly. Exactly. So the only arguments or disagreements you had was just because you probably overspent at the supermarket. That's right. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. Nothing, Nothing else. else. I don't ask him for nothing. So you never like vex with each other? Yes, we vex. I vex. Oh, so, so why vex. you vex? Because of the supermarket thing again? Yes. I spend more than what you tell me to spend. And what you didn't written down on the list for me You're to right. buy. You buy I still. know that the house want it. Yeah. So I buy it. I want to come now, she tell me so then. Bring back three thousand dollars out of that money. Yeah. Or two thousand out of that money. Mm -hmm. And thing. And when I, co I come back with less than what she said, I must come Sometime back. Sometimes none. She said, Lord Jesus, I'm not telling you so you can't spend money <laughs> yeah. because you don't my money now. Right. Until then. And for about fifteen minutes she puffed up. Mm -hmm. It's just then, it's just a little strange to me because you've been together for forty over forty eight yes. years. Mm -hmm. And the only arguments or disagreements you've had is just because you overspent at the supermarket. Yes. And you vex only because of that. There's like no other disagreements. No. No. You know, I never do anything and daddy say that don't do good and yeah. so on. I think you know. Yeah. I learn to. I'm satisfied. No. Yeah. And I put him straight at all times. Sometimes my friends, them, I'm saying, uh, a money for me. Mm -hmm. And true, he's a pastor. Mm -hmm. When me go me pen, me buy pants, length, for him and thing, and shirt and stuff. Right. Yes. And give it out and make it. And take my own money too. How did you know he was the one for you? How did you know that you wanted to grow old with this man? Because he's a nice person. Mm -hmm. He's a nice person. He don't abuse a woman. Right. You know, he's just a nice person. When me will raise my voice, he's not. Not raising voice? No, no. So why would you have to raise your voice? Well, a simple little thing, even he moves something. Yeah. And he don't put it back. Yeah. And I still remember, I put it back, you know, mm -hmm. and he still don't put it back properly. Yeah. And I raise my voice as a thumb. So and so. But, it, but it's just that, like, you know, it's not a prolonged. No. Okay. Okay. No. No. All right. So I asked some people to ask me some questions that they want to ask <laughs> a couple who has been together for such a long time as you guys. Yeah. So I've touched some of them, but the first one I'm going to read to you is: How did you guys survive the harsh times? Oh my word. 
we survive. Mm -hmm. We survive. I mean, they know, but we survive. Because um, today, if we don't have any meat for dinner mm -hmm. and we have flour, we just, we just um, cook dumpling and, and stick it in the hot and the hot dumpling in the butter. Yes. And you can't tell me um, what me eat. Exactly. Let me guess. No. Me have to tell you that. Right. Yes. But what happens is that she is economized. Yes. She don't squander us. Yes, yes. The money that buy the half here because of land down there, she saves the money. Mm-hmm. Yes, she's a pick woman. Yeah. You have to pick woman. How did you know she was the one for you? Because even though the family say you can't get her, you still decide to say you want her. So what was so special about her? I used to sell fudge and ice cream on Saturday, Sunday. And when I sell what money I make, I can't go home and give her. Yes. And she Everything? Everything. Everything because whatever work I didn't get none because of my it. weeks pay don't go to her. My weeks pay go to my children them. Mm -hmm. Mother. Yeah. So it's what I sell. I can't that money go give Oh, so her. you work in the week and that go to your children's mother. Yeah. Yes. And then the the weekend money or your little second job, everything yeah. goes to her. Yes. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So she saves the money, man. Mm -hmm. And then when I make rose out there to I I build gas stove mm -hmm. for 15 years. Yes. And I fix gas stove. Mm -hmm. I repair gas stove. So any roads I get out there, yeah. I carry the money come give her. And she save the money. She don't squander it. Mm -hmm. So the last one cent that I carry and come give to her, I don't have to worry about it. She save it. Yeah. So any little thing that we would want, she spent from there. Mm -hmm. You guys have been together for so long. How do you keep the flame burning? How do you keep okay. things nice and spicy? In love? Yes. Of course. Or just as a couple. Like, how, what, what, is, what do you do? How no. do you keep it nice and no, spicy? No, like you saw her go up and do. And it's not that we want to do it, except one, because I'm not facing with that one. Wait, I mean, I it's okay. Make that, make that part stay. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I take all my wife foot but I'm a rope major. Really? Maybe I take all my wife foot but I'm a rope major. Really? Take all foot, take my jaw, a rope on her foot but I'm. I'm a foreign. So you like that? Play, yes. Play with her. I put her her boss in my mouth. Mm-hmm. Them two little nipple there. Yes. I play with them. Them two little nipple there. Yes. I play with them. But not no. You don't do that no. Yes, we do it still. I play with her nose, her fire. Well, and even now you still do all of that? Yes. No, we in the bed. We bed off and go into the bed and things like that. I play with her body. Yes. Away from one thing where them say, well, then man and, man and woman shouldn't do. Tony can't enlighten me, I'm not so sure I know. I'm not telling you that. It's a different generation, you know. So probably my generation is okay with whatever it is that you are saying. Yeah. But no love don't leave. Yeah. That I don't give to yeah. her. Because I was a womanizer. Okay. Womanizer. Mm -hmm. I have 36 girlfriends for one year. Oh my goodness. How you manage In so one year, my, my, my diary book, I jot down 36 girlfriends. I was not in that one. The time I, I don't know really yet. The time I don't know yet. Yeah. So you manage 36 girlfriends in one treat. year? I sleep with two women one night. Wait, you mean together? Two of them. Two women laid down well, in the bed. thank God for Jesus. Amen. Thank God for Jesus. Amen. If you had the chance to do this all over again, would you choose the same? Would you yes, choose each other I would, again? I would marry her again now for the I very would. last time. I would. I would. I would. I would spend the money back and buy I another would. jewel. I Put would. on these things again. Would. In this stage right now? In this yes, stage right I would. now. I would double it. Okay, what okay. would you have done differently if you had the chance to do something differently? What would you have done differently? What I would do differently? The money that that is spent and me that should make the house probably at this time to our to our life i'm challenging mm -hmm. i would prefer go and then you have a home oh, so the money that is so what would you what did you use that money to do that is spent every cent at my settings okay 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 yeah. but i mean that is not something you could control 
No, because at that time he was the controller of the money mm -hmm. because I wasn't well. But at least in that time you you even you were the, the the fact was concretized that you have a good man. Yeah. He's willing to spend all the money work on the farm program. Yes. And probably he had other plans for it, but yes. he spent it on making sure that yes. you were healthy. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that is, that's amazing. What's your favorite um, memory of each other? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite memory of each other? Your favorite memory? Something that you've done in the past? What would you say is the favorite um, period that you guys have spent together or a favorite memory that you have? When we got married. Oh, when the day you got married is your favorite memory? Yes. Why? Because it was a special day for me. As a young woman, two hundred and seventy people was here, yeah, and then really. Daddy cried because I'm the pastor. I didn't come in time, and then he believed that my run off and gone. And he cried. And he cried. I should he cried. Since still late for come to the church. Yes. So why you take long? Just a typical woman style for take long to reach. Them take long to tidy her. And when we reach at the church, um, the pastor was it. This was like, go on, go drive out. Yes. And. Mm. That's it, so Billy Summit gone we don't have a boyfriend. That big New Testament church of Manchester Avenue. Yeah. Yes, that's where you got that's married. Where we, that's where yeah. we got married. Mm -hmm. And uh, the gathering of the wedding was 270 people. Yeah, you remember everything though? Yes, yes I remember everything. everything. What's your favorite thing about your wife? Mm -hmm. What do you like most about her? Well, I just love her because she clean. Yes. She tidy. Mm -hmm. She... You name it. She just do everything that is good. Please me. Yes. As a woman. As a man, yes. She did everything to please you as a man. As a man. Mm -hmm. And then, seeing of all what she have done, mm -hmm. it will help me to reflect back on my old lady in my level. Mm -hmm. How my old lady was clean. That's your mommy. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tidy and everything. You know what I mean? Yes. Come back. God help me to find a wife in a space. As my old lady. Yes. So I love her to the very last drop. So nice. What's your favorite mm -hmm. thing about your husband? I love daddy because he's everything. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. He wash my hand away, mm -hmm. whether he's sick, if he's tidy, and got him a pen, and he go and um, do a little washing for himself. Yeah. And take up everything and so you don't have to be sick for him washing? Not at all. But no, in nowadays you have men who say they don't wash it enough. Is that so? Yes. My when she had me in the hospital, mm -hmm. I go and pick up her clothing then that she take off yes. up there. Mm -hmm. I take them home. I wash them. Mm -hmm. I press what's supposed to press. Yes. Fold what's supposed and to I fold what's supposed to be those fold. Mm -hmm. You know you have some young men nowadays or men nowadays who are not going to do all of those things. Yes. Yes. What advice do you have to give to those men as a man? Well, what happened is that you have you have a lot of men today mm -hmm. only look like men wearing the pants. Yeah, but they're not. But it. away from that, the qualities mm -hmm. of a man, mm -hmm. of a man, man mm -hmm. is not there. Right. The qualities, the qualities of a man. Is that you don't supposed to say nothing too hard right. of your home. Mm -hmm. Nothing too hard. You're supposed to equip to the to the point of doing anything at all. Yes. When your home concerned. Mm -hmm. And as a man again, you don't supposed to be easily blaze up. Yes. And to be rash. Yes. With your partner. Relax yourself. Of course. Use this culture wisely, man. Mm -hmm. She is a human being like yourself. You have sister also. You wouldn't want to see a man take disadvantage of your sister. Mm -hmm. Exactly how many years have you been together? We live 10 years boyfriend and girlfriend mm -hmm. in Kingston. Yes. And then we come down here and married 1980. Yes. We come in, we come and we come down in 1977 mm -hmm. and we married 1980. So, that so from 1980 mm -hmm. to now, yeah. how much you get? So that would be 20, 40. You get 40? Yeah. And 10? 50. 50. So we are together 50 years now. Yes. 40 in marriage yeah. and 10 in Come on, Come on, Lord. Mm -hmm. At any point, did you guys get tired of each other? No, 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 no
I never tired of my husband yet. And the other thing is that you have some woman then or a wife and husband, you brush off your husband at night time. Mm -hmm. I never brush off my husband yet. Mm -hmm. No. So you were always in the mood for sex if you wanted sex? Yes. Yes. Me always. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh? But you have some women who punish men by not having sex with no. them? No. No. Mm -hmm. So that, what would that, you good. That's and the other thing about it now is that him down you have man so that and then teeth it at night time. Yeah. Him don't do that. Not teeth. No, him not teeth in it. If him if him is there, yeah. Him 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 have to wake you up. Yeah. And then if he said, "Chop man, go and go sleep," him not stopping until he put you in the mood. Yeah. Him not. Mm -hmm. Um, hugga hugga you and mm -hmm. gun about him business. Yeah. Hugga hugga and sleep. I play with her. Mm -hmm. I nurse her in down. the mood. Yeah, yeah. Put, him in, put him in the mood. Yes. Okay. Then after nurse her down now to the level, mm -hmm. then we go now and level the playing field. Right, right, right. So we make the playing field stay for the last. Yes, yes. But the we one. nurse her down. I nurse her Daddy. down. Sir. You said that you guys never get got tired of each other. No, no. Oh. And you spend a, 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 a good amount of time around each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So apart from just the fact that you love each other, what you what do you do to just like keep things nice and steamy? To make sure that you never feel one day like you need to experience somebody else. Well, probably show him, him got treated a lot. Mm -hmm. And my experience is only with my first boyfriend yes. when I was 15. Yes. And he was 30. He was a big man for me. Oh, the boyfriend was 30? Yes, and I was 15. Yes. But you never afraid police and something? Well, police never come down the time in night. Okay. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay. Her father told yeah. me that, and her sister them told me, and her yeah. brother them told me, say, I am the second man for them sister. Yes. So, them said, them have begged me do. Take not take this advantage yeah. of her. Just because know, so, uh, I will fight back. Yes. Yeah. I, I will fight back. Just like how you were going to fight the girl. Yes, I will fight back. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. If I... If... You see like how man said that I'm a beat woman? Yeah. Believe me, so that I will not take it I'm likely. Oh, but you're not going to beat a man. I will fight back. I will fight back. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's why I try to do everything to please him. Yes. Don't hear, uh, don't hear how you see him dressed to the max out there. Mm -hmm. I put him together. Yes. Wash mm -hmm. the jacket, wash the pants, press them yeah. like so that so it's dry clean. let him go so? No. All 36 short for the day. That's a mm -hmm. 36 church short for the day. Everything. So I make sure that man look good. Always. And she will press. And me trim him. Me brush him press. teeth. Really? Me all 18 pants. Me clean pants. him shoes. Sometime, 18 pants. Sometimes he going out and he's in a haste and he just him shoes. Yeah. And when me take up, if you ever know how, tell him now. You are the big boy. Yeah, man, just shine there, man. Him, just him shine the shoes there, man. He man just wear everything put on on the bed in the corner of our room. Let me check out mm -hmm. him shoes. Him hurry, hurry, top and so. And you know the wet between the bottom. And yeah, eh? and the platform. White. Mm -hmm. Me, me have to polish it. Yes. And shine it. Mm -hmm. Because no one see him look good. So that's why you're not going to make nobody out, no girl out there. No. So. She unique. No. With me. Yes. No. So what made him so special? Why did I do all of those for him? You know, when I was a young girl, about 23, one day, I was coming from Augustown, and the bus um, drive at the back of university. And, you, and there, I'm this big man stepping the bus. And he look at me, and me look at him too, and me take off my eye. And when he's not looking, me look at him again from head to foot. And I said to myself, so that, if if a man Tom, if me and Tom ever live until Tom at this age, just say a serious and want him to look, you know. Aww. Yes, just look chacha. And you just take your time and take your time. Yes. 
He's always the first to apologize. Daddy? Who mm. always say I'm sorry? I don't hear that, I don't know. Who is always the first one to apologize when there's any issue? Yeah. Oh, you are the first. So why do you always apologize first? And that's that's why I said to her, baby love, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Sorry to know that such happened. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. It won't happen again. Just like that. Yeah, yeah. What are some of the key, the, the key factors to long-lasting relationship? Because nowadays, the divorce rate is high. People don't, people are not getting married as often and when they do get married, sometimes they don't spend very long together. What are some of the key factors to long-lasting relationships? Long-lasting relationship is love with Jesus in the midst. Yes. Without Jesus, you know, not say nothing. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Long-lasting relationship comes to L O V E. You have to genuinely love the person. But what is love though? Like how do you know you love somebody? This love mm -hmm. come from God. Yes. The Bible says you must love the brotherhood of men with an unfeigned love. Yes. Yeah. Unfeigned love don't have no spot. Yes. Yeah. No blemish. Yes. No lame. Yes. Don't puffed up. No half and half. Yes. True love never fail. Yes. True love never fail. And First Corinthians thirteen, mm -hmm. say love vaunted not itself. Yes. Love is not unkind. Mm -hmm. Love don't puffed up. Yes. I hear that. I don't hear Did that. Did you know that you would grow old with her? Grow old. You knew that you were going to grow old with her. Well, yes, it did lies within me. Yes. That we're going to live until death. Yes. Husband, love your wife even as how you love yourself yes. and as how Christ loved the church. Yes. Love your wife with due benevolence. Yes, yes. From better to worse until death do us part. And you're living by that. Yes, from better to worse. The time of marriage is the better. Yes. You don't know where the worst is. Do you encourage your children to... Well, first question, do you guys have children together? No, we don't have any children. My, my children, them, when them come to me, they didn't want me to divorce her. Yeah. And come take back their mother. Well, you know they found that. I tell them, say, no, I can't do that. Yeah. Ah, should I already left? Yes. And it is a fault I found. Yes. Why I left her. Why you left her? I left her and give her all the furniture in the house. Oh yes? I want to take a spoon, a fork, a knife, one cup, one glass, uh -huh. and one drink trolley. Yes. And give her everything else. And give her everything else. I've got to green and pastures. Don't it? Everything. I do know. Everything I tell you. Okay. Everything yes, otherwise okay. I give to her. Yes. So she come back to my sister and ask one of my sister. So she, I beg her to ask me if me will take her back. Yes. Mm -mm. My sister said, no, I cannot tell Tony that. Because Tony, tell us what caused him to leave you. Yes. It must be a reason. Right. He's not going to come back to you. So it's not she take me away from her. Mm -hmm. I left her. So, quite likely, leaving her. And she the giving the children. Though. And she give them to her. Yeah. Oh, so you are not like a mother to the children? Yes. She That's asked them. Nice. She said, Mom, you are two of the girlfriend? She said, yes. She said, well, then my boyfriend want me to live with him, but him said, now go take me with two of the picnic them. Would you take them? She tell the girl, say yes. And you take them just like that? Yeah. And didn't treat them differently? Oh, my word. And she I don't know what I don't know for them. Pick them up, and she put the two of them, two boys. So they lived with you at one point? Yes, they live with she me. She keep them for 12 years. 12 yeah. years, yes. She school them for 12 years. Because mm -hmm. she take them when them, one is two and one is three. Mm -hmm. So she grow them right up until the age of 12. Yes. The mother come back and start make war with her. She me want back me pick to them, me want back me pick to them. Because when them, me want me pick to them, that's when them turn big. Them, them, them not turn them back. The more them for me, me say me is their mother. Yeah. So me want back me pick to them. So what did you do? Eh? Where do you give her them back? Yeah. When I come from, come really? home from yeah. work, she tell me, say my baby mother come and quarrel with her that she want back her children. I say give them back to her. Yeah, no argument. With no quarrel, mm. no quarrel. Give them back to her. So the young them still in No, she tell him that it's me take them in front of 
She um, take me and fall, she take me away from her. Yeah. Uh oh. And then believe. Because mm -hmm. well, they were kids. Yeah. Yeah. So them don't, them don't remember me. They don't remember so you? So the no. mother told them that as she take me away from so her. So even after they left, they didn't like send money for them and stuff like that? Even after the, the mother came back for them, you didn't like send money to take care of them? Yes. And do she take them back? You still take care of them? Yes. Then she take them so back. why they don't pay you anything? They drive come down here and pack up them big, well, big man. Them big bossy car yeah. under that harmon tree. Mm -hmm. And say, Daddy, me say yeah. Him say your car is small, you know, the time of a deportee. Yeah. Him say, Daddy, your car is small, you know. Mm -hmm. I said truth, I said yes, Daddy. You want one of you want something like this. Mm -hmm. And then boss and me with them boss the car. What advice do you have to give to young couples? You advise a female, or you can advise both of them and you can advise both a male and female. So you can go first. Mm -hmm. Young ladies who plan to get married mm -hmm. and settle down. Just keep your eyes on your husband alone. Yeah. Our husband to be, to be and satisfy with whatever he give to you just satisfy don't look at nothing else just 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 keep your eyes on your husband alone don't, don't look alone. on your friend that have three dress and you have two just keep your eyes on your husband alone don't go out the road to your wife you have two and three both of you are put together Things must better. Yes. Yes. All right, your time. What advice do you have to give to a young couple? True love don't come easy. Yes. True love don't come easy. Mm -hmm. And my advice is to a young man. Mm -hmm. After met a woman and reflect love to her, mm -hmm. and she willingly to sit with the love, nurse it. Yes. Don't take disadvantage of it. Because to everything that happened to people this day is your love take disadvantage of you. Yes. Your love. So I would counsel your man, settle with a woman, settle down. Let your heart, mind, soul, and body rest at the place where it ought to be. Settle down with a woman. Love worketh no ill. Mm -hmm. And love is the fulfilling of God's law. And who that fear it is not made perfect in love. A perfect love casts out fear mm -hmm. and fear of torment. Thank you Let guys so be. much. Thank you so much for sharing with me. Yes ma'am. Mr. and Mrs. Thomas. And I brought a little um, gift for you guys. The blessing my darling. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sharing with me and again. And I wish you all the best. Thank you also to come. Yeah man.